Hello everyone, welcome back to Key Comics Market Watch. Today I want to do part two of collecting for beginners, um, collecting comics for beginners. And um, in this video I just want to talk about um, the importance of first appearances. Um, as, I've, as I've said in my part one video, number one is condition. Condition is the most important thing when it comes to collecting these comics and for profit. Now, I'm talking about just for profit. If you want to get into it and you want to get books eventually to, to make money or let's say you're just a collector and you want your books to eventually gain value like me where I, I care more about the comics than I do the value, but at the same time I want value with my books for the future if I ever decide to sell them. So like I said, Number one is condition. Condition is, uh, trumps everything. Number two is first appearances. First appearances are very important. And since a lot of people was asking me in that video, where do I get my source to find out where, where, what is the first appearance and all that? Like I said in that video, I go to the Marvel database or the DC database online. But you can also go on the hunt for these Marvel Universe um, books and a lot of them just a dollar you'll find them in the dollar bin all the time and dc did the same thing it's called who's who is the name of the dc books so look for the dc who's who's and then the marvel universe um books uh, now this says marvel universe updated 89 so that's how long it's been since they actually put out some marvel universe i think they got to put out some after this but i'm not sure but um because i haven't picked up anything but the great thing about these marvel universes is that they'll have the character it'll show um it'll show his name occupation identity legal status place of self-awareness mar marital status no relatives group affiliation base of operation and then it has the first appearance it'll tell you the history of the person the height eyes all that stuff strength level no superhuman powers abilities and limitations so this is the champion first appearance marvel two-on-one annual number seven which i have a great 9.8 candidate that i have of this book that i picked up for i think nine bucks if i remember correctly a couple of months ago and he's an elder of the universe so very important person they haven't shown him yet they've shown um what the grandmaster they've shown the collector um who else they show from the the Guardians of the Universe so far in the movies. Um, can't remember. My mind's blank. But anyways, uh, Guardians of the Universe, very important characters, by the way. So try to get all their first appearance. But anyways, <laughs> I'm going off base. But the great thing about Marvel uh, Universe is, like I said, they'll show the characters' first appearances on there. Now, I will say this, um, and it's all in alphabetical order. So you'll, there's so many uh, issues of this, and it shows almost everyone so um and then sometimes they'll show like little parts from comics that they were in and as you can see you'll have crazy gang you'll show every person and their first appearance so um but these books are great for information if you want to know about first appearances about certain characters um definitely check these out now i will say this uh, these were printed by Marvel and the Who's Who's printed by DC. So um, definitely uh, they pretty much know what <laughs> the first appearance is and what is not. But I will say this. Every now and then they will make um, a printing mistake on some information. So what they'll do is at the end of the book, it'll have data cor correction. So sometimes you need to go to the back of this and make sure that they might not have made a mistake. You see, like this one, uh, they 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 said uh, Jim Rohn's first appearance was in Iron Man 118, not 120. See, so they correct their mistakes. They know when they made a mistake and they'll correct it. So it's good to always look on the back of the book and it'll show you which mistakes they made in uh, previous um, Marvel Universe books. Now the Who's Who, I forgot if they do the same thing, but I think they do. So definitely do that. And these books are great. Um, as I said, they're in alphabetical order, so here we go. Here's another one. See, I have a whole bunch of them, so, um, I try to get them uh, whenever I see them, but, um, 
that's just a great another source to uh find out like on this book they got this one wrong too this this one has the cameo appearances the first appearance so of venom so they need this one was a they made a mistake in this one too i noticed that but i went to, and looked in the back of the next issue and they corrected it so like i said always go to the back of the issue and see what mistakes they might have made but like i said these are made by marvel marvel did this not a someone else <laughs> so um they pretty much should know who the first appearance is when the first appearance what book it is so definitely check those out and until next time happy comic book hunting everyone and I will see you on the next video. Thanks everyone for subscribing to my channel. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, hit the Galactus head right here and subscribe to my channel. And then also look at my uh, hot, I have a new hot book alert right here. Uh, where is it at? Uh, right here, I have a new hot book alert. Um, Carnage Mind Bomb number one is a hot book. You need to go get it. Go look at this video and see how hot this book is. And then check out this video right here for my last haul, which was awesome. A whole bunch of dollar books. So until next time, everyone, thank you. Check out my Amazon store. Uh, the link is in the comment section. Until next time, peace.